see you, man. Can you just uh, have this? Okay, Kimi, um, as you may know, uh, people here, uh, they don't understand just Spanish, so I'm going to ask in English. Uh, you can understand in English. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to uh, to translate in Spanish, okay? Okay. Okay, Kimi, uh, welcome. Uh, how are you? How do you feel being back here in Guatemala? Um, happy. I'm excited to be back. Con mi gente. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I'm excited to uh, with the train with the U20s. And, you know, it's my first one in a while, so I'm excited. Bueno, le preguntaba a Kimi cómo se sentía estar de nuevo en Guatemala, se siente muy, muy contento, emocionado de estar de vuelta, ahí lo decía con mi gente en español, y pues emocionado de poder regresar a, a entrenar con la selección sub-20. Uh, Kimi, uh, yesterday, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but it was just first uh, starting 11 with Cincinnati in the MLS. Uh, how do you feel and how important is that for uh, someone with just 19 years old? No, it was, it was good. I mean, it was, obviously the result didn't go our way, but it was, it was good to see that the coaches are giving me those minutes and hopefully if I keep working hard there's only more to come. Bueno, le pregunté a Kimi cómo se sentía de la titularidad ayer con Cincinnati en la MLS, se siente contento, eh, pues se da cuenta que el entrenador está tomando en cuenta y pues seguro con más trabajo va a seguir teniendo más oportunidades. Uh, Kimi, have you already talked with uh, Coach Kunan about this uh, call-ups with the national, with Guatemala national team? With? With your coach, uh, Kunan, I don't know. Noonan, Noonan. Noonan, Noonan sorry. Noonan, yeah, Noonan. Noonan. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they're excited. They, they want me to succeed, they want me to do well. They're really uh, excited about uh, the U20 World Cup and like the opportunity that I have. So just like we're all ready for it. So. Bueno, sí, en Cincinnati están contentos y le han dicho que pues es una gran oportunidad el Mundial Sub-20 y pues que lo aproveche y pues seguir trabajando. Uh, Kimi, now um, what you're here for Guatemala U20, uh, how do you see the group? As you may know, different players have come like Solorzano, Avendaño, players that you have may that you may already seen. Uh, how do you see the group now? You know, we, we've, we've had a good team. We're adding more talent, more players to just compete and make the starting level even harder. Yeah. So I think it's good. I mean, ultimately, we're trying to find the best group of players that can compete at the World Cup. So I'm excited to play with the guys that I haven't played with yet. For sure. Bueno, le preguntaba a Kimi, los jugadores nuevos que han llegado a selección como Solor, Sano Avendaño. Y pues que sí, definitivamente ya había un grupo competitivo y ahora con, con ellos dos va a ser seguro más difícil poder estar en, en, el, en, el, en el once inicial. Uh, Kimi, now, uh, how do you see the group of the national team in the World Cup? How do you see, or how far do you see, like, going through the tournament? We have, a, do we have a... Uh, not official, it is supposed to be starting May 20th, but yeah, we don't, st we don't specifically have yes, where yes. and when, yeah. Uh, I mean, I feel like we go in with the same mentality, like, we went in with the CONCACAF, no one thought we were going to qualify yeah. we had the hardest way to qualify we had to go against Mexico we had to go against Canada both good teams both teams that could be in the World Cup right now so I feel like we need to just approach it like the underdogs and just survive in advance <laughs> yeah bueno le pregunté a Kimi cómo se veía en el mundial y pues que él dice que lo ve muy parecido a como fue el pre mundial donde pues fue un camino muy difícil Canadá eh, Estados Unidos eh, fue muy difícil y en esto pues, seguramente va a ser lo mismo que no son los favoritos but bueno, que se venga lo que se venga y que seguramente el mundial va a ser complicado. Uh, any specific team you would like to face in the World Cup? I don't know. I don't want to say anything. No. Bueno, la pregunta aquí me si le gusta algún rival, y a algún rival que le gustaría enfrentar, pero bueno, no creo que no se quiere, no no desearía si algún nombre lo lo que sea. Kimi, uh, last but not least, uh, I don't want to sound rude. I don't want to ask you the same stuff that everyone is gonna ask you about the what a more first team, you know. I don't want to ask you if you want to play or not. The thing that I want to ask is the, the decision for you to be playing an official match or an official tournament. Is this something you're going to decide after the World Cup? Um, and I insist, I don't want to sound rude. I know, I know for a football yeah. player, it's something that you're waiting for the best options. You maybe you may already have a US also as an option. But is that something you're waiting for after the World Cup? Uh, I feel like when I came here, we were the initial goal. They didn't talk to me about yeah. like the, the main national team. They kind of were just only talking to me about the U20s. And so being here now, like, I think for me, I don't want to focus on too many things. Yeah. Like, we have the U20 World Cup. We have to see how that goes. And, I mean, if we do well. We don't know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, um, and uh, Kimi, a message for the fans. We have seen your, your face, your Instagram stories. Uh, you having the, the colors, you know, blue and white. Uh, you, we know you're proud of representing Guatemala. But what can you say for them? Because they're excited for you to be here again. 
Uh, I mean, I'm excited. I'm excited to put on put on the jersey again. It's an honor, and just thank you for all the support. Okay, Kimi. Well, I think uh, I think uh, yeah, que se siente muy contento, perdón, orgulloso de representar nuevamente los colores de Guatemala y que les agradece Estoy muy muchísimo. Está muy contento. Solo, Yo puedo eh, hablar en español, último, si quieres. Ah, pero ah, está, bueno, ahí está. Está. No pasa nada. Prácticamente eh, solo para que la visión chapina se pueda estar eh, tranquila. Eh, mucho se ha hablado pues de tu persona con la selección mayor de Guatemala, pero qué mensaje le puedes dar a esa visión que está pendiente de tu participación en el Cincinnati y también con la selección nacional de Guatemala. Did you get it? A little bit. Yeah, just it's like, like a message. Uh, yeah, it's kind of the same, same but in Spanish said. maybe. Yeah, something in Spanish. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Yes. It's been a minute. It's been a long time. Yeah. Estoy muy contento.